Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I'm going to do this morning for you guys is to do something a little different. I've had in every intention to get this reading posted for you guys, as many of you have asked me to do a reading on the royal uh, marriage to see um, what actually is going to result with that wedding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on and just put up this reading now, and I certainly look forward to hearing your comments um, and letting me know what you think about this. Okay? So basically, we're going to view the royal couple and see whether their relationship is going to survive the test of time. Okay? As always, as with all of my readings, I've already shuffled the deck. And I'm going to be using um, Cleo's tarot cards today, and I've already shuffled and illustrated the cards as we see here. Okay, so just with any reading, I like to first start off and make a few general observations, okay? Let's look at your um, your suit assessment, okay? We see that you have a predominance, it seems, there of majors, okay? You have um, two, uh, a canier card, of course, the tower there fell to the bottom. And you also have a predominance of swords. You have two sword cards there, Okay. So that combination suggests to me is that, you know, since there are predominance of major cards, this denotes a very significant and powerful marriage, you know, and destiny is playing a major role in this situation, okay? And since there are just as many swords, okay, there might be a battle of some sort, perhaps bickering, arguing, and the couple might regard their situation as war, Okay, equally valid, you know, thinking, strife, worrying, debating, questioning oneself or others are the mental struggles really usually associated with this energy. You know, sometimes they might even suggest that the only thing an individual can really do is accept defeat, walk away and do something else. You know, they therefore predict tremendous agitation or activity or acceleration because they show the last stages of effort, you know, before the final result. They also denote a challenge, guys, one that the couple might be able to perhaps use to their advantage. You know, the couple's greatest challenge, it seems, is to kind of remain focused upon their ultimate goal. And also, interestingly to note, you know, I'm just looking at this layout here and, you know, there are no court cards in this reading. And this would suggest that there is an absence of leadership, direction, or perhaps decisiveness in their union. Two. Since, you know, court cards are historically known for their, you know, symbol of our family, you know, monarchy and royal hierarchy, you know, the queen, the king and others in the royal family might not really be as supportive of their marriage as we might think, and therefore might be creating unneeded havoc for this couple. Hence, part of the challenge, as we know, also refer to, you know, um, to air type personalities, okay? So, you know, King Philip, he was actually born on the same date as I was, June the 10th. And the Queen, you know, she celebrates her respective birthday also during the Gemini period. And although I, I went on and did a, a little research, and I see that the Queen actually was originally, in fact, born in April 21st, but she celebrates two birthdays. And she and King Philip both celebrate their birthday during an air period, um, in the Gemini period. So, is it plausible then that these two might be the individuals creating havoc for the couple? You know, or the, are they the culprits behind the couple's problem? Let's see. Okay, let's move right along and just look at your number tw twin here. Okay, I'm just looking at the numbers here. Okay, and you know, since the sum of the cards is pretty much 11, my advice, you know, to the couple would be to kind of learn how to communicate better and trust their intuition and to, you know, really try to take some time to be still and trust the process. And by doing this, the spirit is going to let them know when the time is right to kind of take action. However, I feel a firm decision should be made with no outside influences. Okay. Additionally, since also the prevailing numbers, they appear to be mostly middle numbers, four through seven. You know, the, the, the couple situation is certainly already established, and they are in the midway stage of this matter. However, I do certainly feel that radical changes are to be expected. Now, let's get on and just look at a fruit combination and see what else we can glean out of this, okay? We have um, the ten of staff 
and let's combine that to strength card and and that really denotes a physically strong or possibly a he heavy load on one's shoulder. Okay. We also have the Five of Swords. And let's combine that with the Ace of Coins. And that denotes possible disputes about money that seems to be going on. Okay. We also have um, the Six of Cups. And let's combine that with um, the Ten of Staff. And that denotes that one or both parties might be a bit immature, even possibly, you guys, irresponsible. Okay? Let's go on and look at some few more. We have the Three of Swords, and let's combine that with the Five of Swords. And guys, that shows that this marriage is certainly is in grave danger, as there is a chance that the couple um, will all undoubtedly separate or perhaps get a divorce you know this combination therefore tends to show that someone has lost interest or might be in the process of breaking up and it could potentially be someone with whom they might have had an affair with or is having a or one of them perhaps might be having an affair with one on the side okay we also have the five of swords there let's combine that along with the ten of staff Okay, so that shows possible financial loss in many forms, you know, and the root cause might be loss associated with perhaps stock markets, one job, or even perhaps medical expenses. Okay, now let's look at a few time and, I mean, tarot conjunctions, okay? You know, one thing about tarot, you guys, is that the tarot can easily be used to counter time certain events in life that, you know, might crop up when certain cards from the minor arcania appear before or after a card from the major arcania. So with that said, we do have a few um, time and conjunctions here, okay? Let's go on and scan this spread, okay? We have the um, three or swords there, and that falls before strength. So this suggests a minor conjunction has occurred within the couple's relationship. And the couple, they're going to embark on a new journey, one that looks like it's going to be riddled with really much stress, doubt, and perhaps uncertainty. But more specifically, I'm feeling you guys that this conjunction denotes a karmic period and says that during the next six weeks, uh, excuse me, the couple is going to experience a deep sense of loss, you know, pain and suffering perhaps over this relationship, overwhelming grief, excuse me, <coughs> you know, even possible breakup. It could even kind of indicate, you know, perhaps a decision to kind of remove an intruder, perhaps, um, from the relationship who might be causing havoc on their marriage, you know. However, you know, I'm feeling that although the next six weeks are going to be tough, uh, perhaps a tough period for them um, to go through, the strength card kind of represents courage and love and perhaps an innate ability to overcome adversity. So thus, you know, this card brings about an end to restraint. Okay, let's move right along and look at a few elementary dignitaries, okay? We have the um, Ten of Staff, and let's combine that with the Three of Swords. So that's fire and air. And so the energy with these two um, elements are kind of considered active. It moves, it creates, it acts. Therefore, the energy is kind of moving here quickly and making things happen. And what you see, guys, is that it remains the same throughout. Strength, because it's still fire. Okay, and then we move right along to to Earth, which is the Ace of Corns. Okay, now when you move there, that combination has little effect upon one another until we get um, to Temperance. Okay, so that changes to Fire, and then if I were to that just combine that energy with the Five of Swords, which is going to be Air, we go right back to the active energy that we start with, and in the end, we see the Five of Swords here. Okay, and coupled with the Six of Cups, so that's more air and water. So this combination, again, has little effect on one another. Okay, let's get right on along and just get into their reading just to see whatever, uh, what other additional information that we can kind of get up. We're going to first look at the bottom card, and the card that fell to the bottom is, in fact, the Tower card. So with the Tower, you guys, Mars rules Aries. Okay, so this card shows possible instability in a relationship. It shows problems, separations, divorce, and even a complete loss of one's faith, you guys. It shows a couple is really experiencing shocking situations at this time. And they are really wondering whether their relationship is perhaps a big lie. 
you know, a truth might have surfaced in regards to really their true feelings. And the relationship appears to be under attack. One or both parties might be feeling a bit betrayed and might want out of this marriage. Okay, let's go on and look at the current situation. We have the um, Ten of Staff. And with that card, that refers to a fire sign. It can be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I kind of see this card as being Saturn and Sagittarius. So this card is all about taking on others' issues, which have now become harmful. You know, it's there for about meeting practical difficulties, taking it a concerned effort to kind of move forward, as well as being a bit overburdened or, in fact, overtaxed. It says then that the couple might be concerned about the effort that they've been putting into this relationship and or marriage. They feel a bit deluded about their marriage and in the dark. And there appears to be much bickering amongst them and external factors appear to be pressing on them. Okay, let's move right along and look at, you know, through some of the emotional aspects of this relationship. And the next card that falls there is the Three of Swords. So this card represents an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. More specifically, I kind of see this card as representing Saturn being in Libra. So therefore, this card is all about loss. It's all about an overcast relationship, sadness, sickness, and perhaps heartbreak. You know, quarrels or petty spite, gossip, and disharmony. It's almost just as if the couple has run out of hope. This card brings about a feeling of kind of being pierced in the heart with a sharp knife and denotes the presence, perhaps, of an intruder into the couple's marriage. You know, one or both parties might be cheating or perhaps a so-called friend may be perhaps causing havoc. Okay, let's move right along and look at the physical aspects of this relationship. And we have the strength card that um, falls in that placement. So strength denotes a Leo. Okay. So this card is all about challenging situations, you know, physical and emotional endurance, fortitude, you know, grit, willpower. This card therefore shows there is much passion in this marriage. This card says that all those nervousness might exist in their union and problems perhaps are kind of, you know, stemming from the past. They have the power to kind of rise above difficulties should they desire. Okay, let's look at card four. And this card is going to show me Harry's true feelings, you know, for Megan. Okay, we have the ace of coins there. So that denotes an, an, an earth sign. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And in fact, that is in fact um, Harry's sign. He was born September 15th, so he's a Virgo. So this card is all about financial opportunities, you know, positive rewards for hard work. Therefore, Harry sees Megan as kind of being very successful, one who has perhaps received many opportunities and rewards in life, as well as one who is good at helping others. He sees her as an individual who can perhaps bring them enormous material gains. He also sees her as a good person with whom he can build a committed, everlasting marriage with. So let's turn the focus and look at Megan's true feelings for Harry. We have the temperance that falls there. So temperance, you guys, refers to a Sagittarius. So this card is sometimes somewhat complex, guys. So above all, it denotes the right measure, the good mixture, and hence an ideal state of peace, harmony, you know, calmness, and health. So, you know, moreover, it symbolizes the higher consciousness that really tells us what unshakable certainty, what it is right for us, and which path we should probably choose. So therefore, Megan feels Harry is peaceful and highly appreciates harmony and balance. She values his patience and punctuality and therefore has a friendly attitude toward Harry and tries to kind of take loving care of him. Let's move right along and look at the challenge in their marriage, okay? We have the Five of um, Swords card. And with this card, Venus is certainly is an Aquarius. So this card is all about arguments, cheating, deceit, and possible cessation, perhaps, you guys, of sexual activities that usually um, you find in an existent relationship. It represents humiliation and despicable meanness. So there seems to be a bit of domination in this marriage, and it's certainly destined for failure, I feel, if the two of them don't learn to compromise and work out their problems in a more mature fashion. This card, therefore, says a couple needs to be a little bit more ethical with one another and not bully the other because ultimately there would be no winner with this card, okay? Let's go on and look at the resolution or the likely um, future of their relationship. And the card that falls there, you guys, is the Six of Cups. So the sun is in Scorpio with this card, and 
And this card, you guys, is all about nostalgic memories or even those from childhood. It's all about lovers. So this card shows an old lover returning back in one's life. You know, so with that said, either the couple is going to break up and reunite or someone from whom one or both of them have been estranged might return and they may go in a different direction. And perhaps that relationship might be reignited. So, you guys, this is what I have for the couple. Um, I really do wish them success, but it looks like that they're having a lot of problems and perhaps they may have gotten married a little bit too um, quickly without really getting to know one another well as well as the family. But it does seem like that the um, the queen and, and perhaps the king and others in the family really isn't really su as supportive of this relationship as one would think. So you guys, I certainly do uh, did enjoy doing this reading for you guys and I look forward to hearing your comments. And um, should you guys wish to subscribe to my channel, please feel free to do so because I'll be posting more interesting readings along the way. Thanks a lot for your time.